early morning Rangers fed in the house coat. Things are that desperate. We're here in the house coat. Giafani Van Bronckhorst has come out and said Ajax had six days off. Six days off. We only had three. Well, you know what, mate? Go and spin that argument up your arse. Because you're playing injured players. You're not giving players breaks. What about Lundstrom? What about Tav against Dundee? Why the fuck are they playing in the cup, mate? Tav, who it's so obvious that he is carrying something. He is fucked every game. He is not playing anywhere near like he was last season. He's getting caught. I mean, he was never good defensively, but he's getting caught so much more this season. It's so obvious. You know, it's abysmal. It's embarrassing. We move on. But to actually come out and say that, oh, I had six days off. Mate, you're in control of the team. But then he came out and said, oh, the tactics aren't the problem. My tactics is spot on. We just haven't been able to compete for 90 minutes. Mate, you set up the team. And there's games we haven't been able to compete for the fucking first minute. So even if you wanted to use that logic, the tactics haven't been wrong. How about accepting some fucking responsibility? Like, if he truly believes that we can't compete at this level, right, and all that stuff, then why does he set us up to fail? If he thinks that, why not just play 10 people behind the ball and don't even attempt to play football and get 6 nil nils? I mean, it's kind of what he tried at Anfield. And for as shit as it was, it did limit Liverpool, even though it was like one of the worst performances you'll ever see. Attacking-wise, it was fucking... It was wank. It was abysmal. You know, but... So why is he doing this? Why are we so shit? You need the rest players, mate. You're in control of the team. All I'm seeing for Gio is pointing the finger. He's pointing the finger at other people. Take some responsibility. I'm, I'm well aware he didn't get packed right. And all that stuff. But at the same time... There's no excuse for how bad it's been. There ain't. It's been fucking abysmal. And I feel like I've said it's been abysmal about 20 times so far. But just the, co the constant chopping and changing, like Morelos will be in one game, then it'll be cool. Like, he's no idea what he's doing. You know? No idea what he's doing. Sakala, who's been fucking proven each time he plays, he actually offers some. But there's times he didn't start. Starting 55 year old Stephen Davis. 400 year old Arfield. Probably should have switched to his ages about, right? But see, starting those two in a Champions League game. You're going to get fucked up the ass. You know, especially with Tillman, who doesn't want to bother his ass walking back. Um, some people claim to think that Tillman fuck has a great work ethic. Now, there was one tackle he did, I think it was before half, before half time, where he ran back and uh, won the ball. But that was one time, right? One time. We need that all the time. We need a Calvin Bassey. We need somebody like that. But Gio, he has to go. I'm, I'm actually... It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. <laughs> you know, honestly, man. I'm dying of the flu here, but... It's what it is. There's not a player that could hold their fucking heads up after that. And Gio, I can't believe he's turned around and said this. Like, they had six days. Mate, you could rest players. You know, you're not forced into playing a, a 10% fit James Tavernier. You know, you're not, mate. You're not... And other shite, man, Jesus, get in the bin. But until next time, peace.